So uh, almost all approaches to unsupervised learning uses uh, a set of latent variables. Here in this slide we call them H, later on in the, in the slides I will call them C, but it's the same idea. So if you have heard about uh, clustering, for example, then you can think about the cluster index, the kind of the, 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 the cluster that one specific example belongs to, you can think about that as the H. So then it's, it's a discrete quantity. You can also think about a hidden Markov model. Then you have a discrete uh, hidden state for each time step. Uh, in the Boltzmann machine, the latent state is a vector of binary uh, variables in principal component analysis, independent component analysis, non-negative matrix factorization and sparse coding, autoencoder, state-based models, then we have a latent variable which is a continuous vector. And the way we you can think about this is that we have a mo model, a so-called autoencoder, which takes our data x and through a function f maps that to this latent space and then we have a mapping from the latent space h through a function g back to the original image um, space. And what we then achieve here is that we have this x to x mapping and you can we sometimes call this reconstruction, this x hat, we call that the reconstruction. So that's how well we can represent the original image again. So this is the way we formulate uh, autoencoders normally and you can of course say this is a trivial task because you can just put the identity function. So we have to be clever about designing a mapping where we learn something useful which is not just the identity function. Let's first talk about PCA. Uh, PCA is, uh, can be derived in this autoencoder formulation by having two linear mappings. So you can see I've written here F and G as a linear mapping. So we have a, a W1 a weight matrix that maps from um, the input space to the latent space. And we also add an intercept here. And then we have a similar function that takes the latent representation H and map that back to the original space. And PCA is simply minimizing, uh, is is choosing some dimension of uh, the latent space, for example, two, and then minimizing the difference between the original data and the reconstruction. The solution is not unique, uh, even if we if we uh, restrict the Ws to be each other's transpose, because uh, what we'll achieve with this uh, minimization is that the Ws will span the two first principal directions but it will not be exactly the two uh, you can find any you can take any rotation inside this uh, 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 principal subspace will give the same solution so there's no uniqueness of course then you can enforce more or less uniqueness if you sort sort these uh, directions by their eigenvalue by the variance then you get back exactly uh, what you would get if you use SVD to perform the principal component analysis. Yes, so but this also highlights kind of the problem with uh, autoencoders that we can learn the identity. So we need to make the problem somehow uh, harder or we have to formulate the problem in a more clever way as we do in the variation autoencoder. But let's look first at, at the so-called denoising autoencoder as a way to make the problem harder by injecting noise.